We're going to do integration by substitution here. I have to tell you one of my favorite things that we're going to do, okay? You're also going to see it called U substitution, okay? So when you look at this, you got, oh, that's just gross. You can see things were multiplied together. There's chain rule I would have used in derivative world. So basically, we have to break apart the layers and make our life easier. So you go and basically look for the most stressful part. And for us, that's going to be what's inside something else, the composition of functions there. And you're going to call that u, okay? So you have u equals x cubed. Then you're going to take the derivative of that. The derivative of u would be du. The derivative of x cubed is 3x squared, and the derivative of x is dx. Now, look how awesome this just became. There's the 3x squared. There's the dx. I've already made the x cubed right there. So I will rewrite this integral as cos of u du. By writing that du right there, you can see I have included the dx and the 3x squared. So I have not changed the value, which is spectacular. Okay, so now that's something much better. You can tell me what the antiderivative of cos u is. You can tell me, oh, that's sine u, sine u plus c, right? And then you're just going to plug in, because the question was not asking about u, it was asking about x. Plug in that x cubed right there. So you'll have sine of x cubed plus c. That was just neato. Yep, use the word neato. All right, so places where you can use this. If you've got something going on with the denominator, maybe you've got something underneath the square root, inside a trig function, the exponent of the e of x, inside a power function. Basically, if you would have used chain rule, now we're going to be using the u substitution. So as I look at example two, yucky, there's stuff going on. What to do, what to do. I look for what is up inside the exponent. And I'm going to call that u. So t squared plus 1. Take the derivative. du equals 2t dt. So here we go. I've used my u right there. Okay. There is the t that I need. There is the d. This should be a t. dt. Okay. I have a 2. I don't so much need the 2, so let's divide it over. So 1 half du t dt. Now I've got everything that I need. So I'm going to bring 1 half on the outside, because I can do that with constants, right? And then I'm going to say e to the u du. e was in both of them. u takes care of the t squared plus 1. The du takes care of the dt and the t. And since I had to divide out the 1 half, I'm going to put that on the outside so that I do not change the value. So I'm, now that I have 8 gazillion arrows, I'm going to rewrite over here e to the u du. So the antiderivative of e to the u is, what is it? e to the u, oh my goodness, bring the 1 half in front plus c. So 1 half e to the u. Now u is no longer helpful to t squared plus 1 plus c. Okay, now here's the one with the underneath the radical. Now you'll also notice this one is exciting because it adds bounds. So we'll get to the bounds in just a second, okay? So starting, I'm going to pick what looks most gross is what's underneath the radical. So u is x to the fourth plus 5. That makes du 4x cubed dx, right? I can see I am going to use the dx. I'm going to use the x cubed. The 4 is in the way. So I'm going to divide that over. So I'm going to write an integral. 
put the one fourth on the outside and then we're going to have the radical of u du by using the du i've taken care of the x cubed and the dx and the one fourth is sitting outside okay now the bounds now i'm in terms of u and the ones that have showed up on the ap and the multiple choice pretty much stop here and just say set it up so you have to know how to change the bounds okay because i'm in terms of u i'm no longer in terms of x the zero and three don't work so what i'm going to do is plug them in right here because that's where i switch from u to x or x to u so if i plug in three to the fourth plus five three to the fourth is going to be 81 plus 85 that's 86 now all right and then if i plug in the zero that's going to be five okay so now you have changed the bound so that's in terms of u now let's just rewrite this because that's just fun as u to the one half du so the antiderivative of that is going to be u to the three over two times two thirds correct remember that this is times the one fourth in front okay so now put the bar up 86 and 5 so 1 fourth times 2 over 3 times 86 to the 3 over 2 minus 2 over 3 5 to the 3 over 2 okay and depending on where you are in the test you could use the calculator to simplify that or you could leave it in that form all right so the next one is setting up with the radical just like last time so you're going to try this one make sure there is a c you can use your calculator to check and the very last one now we're in a fraction form so i suggest using the denominator as your u Remember to change your bounds. Plug them in for what you had for you. All right, have a great night, and we'll go over any problems tomorrow.